In the Philippines, the Taal volcano continues to spew ash and plumes of steam, reaching almost a kilometer into the sky. The alert level remains at four, which means a dangerous eruption could happen within hours or days. Let's uh, cross to our correspondent, Howard Johnson, who's live for us on the edge of the exclusion zone, which has been set up around the volcano. Um, Howard, are there actually any people still inside that exclusion zone? Yes, Anita, as the sun sets here in the Philippines, you can see that the steam and ash continues to billow from Taal Volcano. The authorities here are warning those people inside the exclusion zone that they shouldn't be there, that it's dangerous, and that those who are in evacuation centers at the moment should not be lulled into a full sense of security and return to their homes. They've declared a state of calamity here, and it's clear to see why. But despite the continued threat of a hazardous eruption, some people are returning to their family homes. Margie and Noel Vergas own a small plot of land in the vicinity of the volcano. They grow vegetables and breed chickens for a living. But their lives were turned upside down on Sunday when Ta'al began erupting. Around four in the afternoon, we panicked. We saw a huge smoke cloud coming from the volcano and we could smell something awful. Ash began falling with small stones and soil. We evacuated because some people said that there would be a tsunami on the lake next to Taal. We became scared. Noel says he wanted to return to his house today to check on his livestock, but he found that many of his birds were in a sorry state. So Noel is showing me a fighting cock here. It's a popular sport in the Philippines. And the bird here is covered in dust and ash. He said a lot of the birds were affected when he left his farm to seek uh, safety in a shelter and evacuation center and other chickens are in a bad state. I've seen one at the back with what looks like a broken wing. The Philippine Department of Agriculture says the thick ash has caused more than $10 million worth of damage to livestock and crops. So Noel is showing us his vegetable patch. He grows squash, but he says that the condition of these plants now are so bad that he can't harvest them and that he can't take them to market for sale. Today, state seismologists say although the eruptions in the main crater have been weaker in the last 24 hours, residents evacuated from the 14-kilometer danger zone should not be lulled into a false sense of security and return to their homes. What we've heard in the last 15 minutes also from seismologists here is that new fissures have been forming on the side of the volcano. That means that steam is coming out of new holes there too. And we've also seen cracks in the roads around here. That means all these tremors that we've been experiencing, more than 200 since the volcano erupted on Sunday, means that the magma underneath the volcano is still moving around. It's still a dangerous situation here, level four out of five, as the seismologists have keep stressing that there could be a hazardous eruption in the coming hours or days. Thank you very much, Howard Johnson, there in the Philippines for us.